Well, I mean, I don't know about that. I and mean, we got to play a lot better. Um, you know, we, we, we have to come up with some more plays on third down defensively. You know, we have to match another defense that's excellent. Uh, we, we, we didn't win the kicking game and, and certainly uh, didn't do very good in the red zone offensively. So, and then when we needed to get a stop, you know, I was counting on our defense. They played well all day. Um, you know, had the hiccup down there in the red zone where, you know, third down, they score a touchdown. So, I, I don't know. You know, we'll have to play better, and we will. Um, we'll coach better. And, but I don't think we gave one away. We just – too many mistakes. As far as your quarterback play, what is your assessment? Well, the, the, the coaching and the quarterback play and the, the line play and the defensive play, everybody. It's just, you know, it's never going to be about one guy. You know, told him at halftime, like, we got to block better, we got to get into routes better, we got to get open quicker, and we have to throw the ball um, better, and the runners have to run better. So like, that's what it's always going to be. Uh, everybody's tied in, and, that, and that's, that's where we're at. Week one, found some adversity. It's a great challenge on the road. You know, when we handled the environment, you know, we were able to hit some plays. Unfortunately, got behind the sticks. Too many long yarded situations, too many third and longs, which led to too many third and longs, which led to not enough conversions. Let me just pay you says how the defense did. You, you got to make some plays throughout, gave up a couple of late that ended up. Uh, not, not good enough. You know, I mean, not good enough. Gave up a touchdown, like, just like I said, uh, on third down. And, and if we want to be a great defense, uh, you have to be a great defense all the time. I put, tried to put the game in their hands. I thought we'd get a stop. You know, they had 49 rushing yards when we, you know, made the decision to, to kick. Thought we'd get a stop. Thought we'd come come down there and find a way to get it inside the 40 and and, and kick a field goal to win the game. I, that's what I believed. Sorry for the answer already. No. You know, Ryan's decision making overall. Well, it, you know, the decision making. We just have to be more decisive in all three phases. Um, you know, figure out, you know, what it is that allows our players to 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 play decisive and and play better. Um, especially in, in an environment like this, um, you know, what well, Ryan will be better. We'll, we'll coach better, and we'll get open quicker, and we'll block a little longer than than we did today going forward, because that's what we have to do. You had that flea flicker set up perfectly, and it looked like it could have been a touchdown. How big a how big a momentum swing is it when that doesn't hit? Well, we hit. You know, we hit some plays, and we don't hit some plays, and um, you know, wasn't we didn't hit it. You know, that I don't know. You know, our job is to, um, as a team, as a coaching staff, as players, is to, to you know, go try to make a play and, and get back to center, positive play, negative play, uh, so that those things don't add up. So I don't know if that was a momentum switch, but certainly, you know, a play that we have to hit and, uh, and would have liked to hit. It felt like the officials blowing the fumble recovery dead, though, was a bit of a momentum changer, was it not? Um, I mean, I don't, I don't, whatever it is, you know what I mean? They're going to let it play out sometime, you know. Next week, that, that's going to be a, a fumble, and then the next week it's going to be an incomplete pass, and the next week it's going to be a fumble. Um, so if you're asking me uh, that we should let replay sort it out, I would tell you that we should let replay sort it out. You know, you can go back and look, you know, show the team a lot of things that, that we covered uh, came up today. You know, playing to the recovery of the ball. I was you know, proud of the way that, that Kevin didn't flinch and went and got the ball and the way that we tried to affect the quarterback and just didn't go our way. They called it incomplete. And once it goes to replay, they need clear and obvious evidence that, that it wasn't a, uh, a pass. What constitutes a throw there in your estimation if the quarterback is pushing the ball with his hand? I, again, with, I could sit here and debate it, what, what needs to happen is that we all understand that the, the, the call on the field is critical. And then after that, you know, you need clear and obvious evidence to overrule the call on the field. So um, good play there by the defense, but just didn't get there quick enough. And, you know, that wasn't the reason that uh, that we lost today. How banged up was Christian, Mike? And I'm sorry? Christian Fulton, how banged up was he? And why the decision to put him back in? Because he, did, he he and the trainer said that he could could go back in. You know, we get we get 48 guys on game day. Uh, two of them are quarterbacks, and three of them are specialists. And 
you know, so so when the, the professional athletes tell us that they can go back in, whether it's Jeff or anybody else, Christian, on and on all, they get checked out, and if they can come back and play, um, and then they, we put them back in. With Derek in the second half, uh, Derek Henry, that is. Was there any particular reason why you guys got away from him running the ball? Well, I didn't hit, tried to run a few. And they weren't overly successful. Um, getting into some some longer yarded situations. Um, had some called that you know gave us a look that we needed to check out of. Um, you know, Derek's going to help us, and we got to find ways to you know keep running the football. You know, be a little better when we throw it, and. You know, find a way to get him a screen today like we did. How much might you attribute to some of the, uh, maybe the timing, some of the uh, plays you weren't able to make in the passing game being a first game out, maybe not being in the rhythm yet? We could find a million excuses. You know what I mean? And all excuses are going to do is to make you feel better today. What we need to do is, is have accountability and some discipline uh, as we move forward to, you know, Make today hard, but hopefully tomorrow a little easier you down the stretch as we move forward. You brought up needing to hold blocks a little bit longer in the future. Just how do you evaluate the line from the eye test? The same way that I evaluate every position. We, we didn't coach better than the Saints. We didn't play better in the critical situations. Uh, every position group, every player is going to have some, some good plays and some bad plays. And, you know, got to eliminate the ones that are going to get us beat. What was the mistake on the uh, punt block? Uh, we missed, missed a block, missed, missed a guy on it up and under. Um, you know, Got to stay inside out. Ty J. Spears played a big role for you today. How? What do you like about him best? Well, I love his. I love who he is as a person. I love his attitude. I love his uh, the fact that he's given himself to this team. Love seeing him every day. Knew he was talented, and uh, and he'll help us win. For a long, long time, you guys have made your mark in the red zone. Over three today. What uh, what did the Saints do there? Mm, you know, we just didn't didn't get off to. You know, I mean, really just didn't get into the drives. You know, once we hit into the red zone, we kind of stalled out there, uh, kind of out on the high red, and, and we never got really, you know, punctured inside the ten to where we could, you know, feel good about, you know, scoring touchdowns. That's good. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it's a sick feeling in your gut, obviously. Um, didn't go out and play the way we wanted to play. Um, weren't good enough in the red zone. Missed opportunities, mistakes, all of it, you know. So, you know, there was a, a couple bright spots, but on the whole, just have to be better in a lot of different areas. Can you walk us through the interceptions from your standpoint? Yeah, it doesn't really matter, right? I mean, you can walk through them, whatever, at the end of the day, whether you know, it doesn't matter what happened. It, it turnovers, and um, you know we have to eliminate those to, to give ourselves a chance to win the game. How did you attribute some of the timing that was off, some of the mistakes of being first game, still being on the same page with you? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, definitely a factor. Um, you know, things play out a little differently in games and in practice, but uh, we just have to do a good job of being as consistent as we can um, when we have those reps in practice, and then carrying it over to the game to make sure you know that we're all on the same page and um, able to execute those plays in critical situations. It seemed like you weren't well calibrated on some of the other stuff too, on that flea flicker, um, the, the another overthrow where you had had some open guys that could have made big plays on, and, and you just off. Do, would, did you feel off today or what? No, I didn't feel off. Obviously, you know, a couple missed opportunities and then those hurt. You know, you got to be able to hit those. Obviously, um, not happy about it, but I'll go back to work and, and get it corrected and be ready next week. Ryan, talk about the pressure that you faced often from the, the defensive front. Well, they did a good job. You know, I think um, you know, there, were, there were certain times we had a had good pocket and we um, were able to get the ball downfield a little bit, and there was other times that uh, they did a good job. You know, we knew coming in uh, it was going to be a tough front to block. They ha had a, a good pressure package and uh, moving guys around, running games and all that type of stuff. Um, and they did a good job, but uh, some things we can build on there for sure. Do you think not playing at all in the preseason affects you and maybe causes a slow start at all? I don't think so. You know, I don't think so. Um, we got a ton of reps, ton of reps in practice, and um, like I said, we just have to be able to carry over what we're doing in practice and, and be consistent coming out on Sundays and, and play, doing it in the games. Ryan, how much of this do you think is new offense, first game, you know, getting used to everything? I mean, it's, it all works together, right? We all have to be on the same page. Um, 
I have to be good with, with the ball. Guys have to be in the right spots in the right timing. So um, definitely some things we have to uh, continue to work through, but we will, and, and we'll be ready to go next week. How much, how much you attribute to the struggles you guys had on, on their defense? How, many, how much of it was maybe on, on you guys? I got to give credit to them. They played a good game, but at the end of the day, you know, I have a lot of faith in our guys that, that we can uh, execute myself, that, that we can execute better than we did. You know, we got down and moved the ball at times really well, got down to the red zone, and then weren't able to finish. You know, start the ball with, with the ball in the red zone after a huge play by Imani on the, um, on the first kickoff, and then weren't able to do anything, shot ourselves in the foot multiple times uh, with penalties, got behind the sticks, and when you do that in the red zone, it's going to be hard to consistently convert those. So uh, a lot of, a lot of, Procedural things that we can clean up and give ourselves a better chance when we do get down there in the red zone. Two point game. You feel like if you'd have hit either one of those deep balls, it could have made the difference in, in the outcome. Yeah, you never know what's going to happen once the guy gets the ball in hand, right? Uh, you you want to hit those opportunities when they when they come up. Uh, we were able to continue to move the ball in those drives, but ultimately we didn't finish in the end zone. So, um, you know, got to take advantage of the opportunities when they come. Is there any conversation about going to, to high tempo at any point just to change things up? Uh, we didn't have that conversation. Um, you know, that's something you can talk to Tim or, or Rapes about. Were you uh, comfort level, you know, after missing so many games last year and then and coming back? Where was your comfort, comfort level going to this game? Yeah, I felt really good coming into the game. Uh, I feel healthy, felt really good mentally, um, ready to roll. Um, just didn't come out and, and play well, obviously. I'm not happy with the way performed and there's a lot of room to grow there and excited to, to get back to work and be ready to go next week. A couple of those throws to, to Hopkins, they ended up getting intercepted. Was it a matter of like not being able to step into the throw or, or what happened? I'm not going to get into uh, to all the interceptions uh, and, and what caused them all, but at the end of the day, got to clean them up and, and eliminate them. What do you say to the guys when you're coming back to the sideline after those plays or, or regrouping? on the sideline before you go back out after the turnover? Yeah, we just got to reset. You know, I think uh, we did a good job of that at points in the game of resetting, coming back out, putting another drive together. Um, did some good things, but ultimately got to finish the drives that we move it down in the red zone, got to got to finish with touchdowns, and then, you know, eliminate the turnovers, and we'll be in good shape. Are you talking about not playing with more decision-making or just missing throws with the right decision that were frust more frustrating to you? What do you mean? Well, in other words, you said you want to play better. I'm just saying, is it decision making or just missing throws more? Uh, I mean, all around. You know, there's there's certain areas where, um, you know, the throw. I had had a couple open guys and, and missed them, right? And that's uh, that's something obviously I want to get cleaned up. And then um, just being in tune with everything, with ever that's going on, and what we're trying to do offensively, being on the same page with the receivers is crucial. And um, excited that. You know, it's just week one, and we have a, a lot of time to uh, to get this thing cleaned up and ready to roll for week two. You guys, have, you guys have struggled in game week one before and been able to bounce back. Do you still have the same level of confidence? Yeah, no question. You know, I think, um, like I said, it wasn't all bad. Obviously, there's a lot that, that I need to get cleaned up a lot offensively that we need to get cleaned up, but. There were some good things in there too, and exciting points that that we can build on. Um, you know, we battled. We kept ourselves in the game. Obviously, it wasn't pretty, but we kept ourselves in the game right up until the very end. Thought we were going to get a shot to uh, to go down and win it in two minutes. Obviously, it didn't happen. But um, yeah, I'm excited to uh, to build on the good things we did, clean up the stuff that needs to get cleaned up, and, and be ready to roll next week. Did the success of the last pass rush you know, speed you up at all as the game went on? They did a good job of, of rushing the passer at points in the game. Like I mentioned, you know, they had uh, have a good front. We knew that coming in. They did a good job running some some games and twists early on, and, and we knew that was going to be the case coming in. Um, and also at, at points, there was great protection, you know. So um, ultimately, there's some good things in there and some things we got to get cleaned up. Thanks, Derek. Thank you. Yeah, they were the better team today. Um, you know, we didn't take advantage of the opportunities we had when, we, when they were there. And, um, you know, they did when they when they had the ball. And, you know, they were the better team today. All the credit goes to them. We got to be better. How much you feel like it's first game still working through some of the rust? How much um, just you guys just flat? Just got to be better. I mean, I, I felt pretty good um, far, as far as me, um, as far as the offense. You know, we just got to. 
go out there and um, put some plays together. Um, you know, it's going to take all 11 of us um, being on the same page. Um, playmakers got to make plays when, when they're there. And, um, you know, we know we know that. We all hold each other accountable. And we just got to be better. And uh, the mindset is just watch the film, grow from it, and be ready for next week. Now, things are different now, and things are going to be different game to game. Is it a little weird to be off the field some on first down? No, not at all. Um, we got some playmakers, guys who are uh, who are good with the ball when it's when, it, when it's in their hands, and um, you know when you get the guy the ball, get those guys some opportunities. Um, you know, uh, excited to see those guys get in and, um, and make some plays, and um, you know we're we're a team that's gonna take all of us. Any frustrations as far as the limited touches in, in the second half? No, not at all. Not at all, not at all. Trust the coaching staff. Trust trust what we do. Like I said, we got some, some playmakers, guys who can get the ball and do special things. So everybody needs to touch this ball. It's not all about me. What would you say to Ryan? He came here and kind of put some of it on himself. What do you say to him after a day when I know he feels like he could have played better? Yeah, it's not one guy. Um, it takes uh, all, all of us. Um, you know, Ryan is the leader. On the leaves of this team, and we're gonna rally behind them. Um, you know, um, you know, we all, you know, have games that, you know, are, are, are plays we want back. But at, at, at the end of the day, you know, you got to keep growing, learn from it, and um, be better next week. Obviously, this is a difficult environment to play in. But from an operation standpoint, what kind of got you guys off kilter from the start? Well, I think whenever you, whenever you're in the red zone, you know, you got to try to. Do whatever you can, put plays together to uh, t to get down there and um, get some points in the end zone to give ourselves a chance. Uh, I think we kept shoot, shoot, shoot ourselves in the foot with uh, penalties and, and, and things like that. And then, um, you know, being better on, on third down as well. And then being exposed to put some exposed to plays together in the run game and the pass game. And I think you when know, we watch the film, we'll learn what we, see, what we need to do better and then go out there and try to go do it. When you did get opportunities later in the game, <coughs> what were they doing better? Um, just playing better defense. Um, they were coming off the ball, flying to the ball, um, putting the hat on the head, and I'm afraid they did a great job, and all the credit goes to them. They got the W. What were the issues in the red zone, Derek? I said penalties. Um, you know, we tried to put it back together. Then we, you know, self, self, self inflicted the wound, and you know, we back ten yards. And you know, we just got to be efficient. Got to be more detailed. Have more discipline, and you know, string those plays together to get it in the zone. How do you work on that? Throughout the week, throughout practice, um, be more focused, be more locked in into it, and remind yourself, hold each other accountable. Leaders be leaders, lead the team, and you know, be better at it as the week goes on, and try to be better next Sunday. Derek, I know it's just one game, but how concerned are you? Given there are some similarities to some of the offensive struggles last year, and, and you guys have a new system that you're still getting used to. Just how, how concerning? Not concerned at all. I feel like we had opportunities to go score, and we just need to do. Need to do better as an offense. I ain't concerned at all. Um, you know, just it's just one game, week one. Um, you know, we get to see where we at, what we need to work on, and go do those things throughout the week, and come out next game and try to be better. That's good. Thank you,